Hi there, Gemini. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for September 25th to October 1st. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. I want to apologize for the delay in your reading for this week. I meant to have it done before, but I, I uh, ended up taking a weekend vacation out of state, so I needed it. <laughs> So this may or may not resonate for you. Um, if it does, great. If it doesn't, you can check your moon sign or your rising sign. If you like the reading and you want to subscribe to my channel to get back to me easily, you just hit subscribe. If you want the notifications every time I download a video, you hit the bell. If you don't want the notifications, you just hit the subscribe. I have to tell you, it's funny because a minute ago when I first started shuffling, these two cards start, tried to fall out and I pushed them back in and kept shuffling and they still came out. That's uh, unbelievable. So, anyhow. That's funny. <clears throat> All right, so this is for Gemini, September 25th through October 1st. I just want to get that zoomed in. All right, the center of your reading is this Five of Pentacles. Looks like you're feeling somebody's on thin ice, and I don't know if it's you or another person. Up here we have lies, deceit, trickery, trickery thieving um stealing of some sort let's see what it is let's see what it is Ooh. this is a very independent person it could be a man or woman okay the nine of pentacles this is somebody who is very grateful taking care of themselves grateful for all that they have living in life's little luxuries on their own this is often the widow card, um, divorcee, somebody, you know, somebody who's taking care of business on their own, you know, but she's, she or he is feeling like, I mean, feeling like they're on thin ice, okay, um, or somebody's on thin ice with this person because there's some lies up here, all right, no doubt about it, there's some lies, um, we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I say that's a Taurus, Pisces. Okay, so that's what we have so far for people. But I see you being very victorious, you know, being very victorious in your own right. But it looks like you're on your own. All right, this looks like this week you're still on your own, okay? I think that maybe somebody has deceived you, and it could be a water sign, could be an, it could be a fire sign, all right? And you have this intuition, you have this inner knowing that I think there's some kind of secret, but you know what it is, a secret, secret. So there's some kind of secret. I'm not sure what it is, but you are, you are one with the universe at this time. I mean, I, I see that you are. You know you have a very high intuition right now. Um, I think there's some kind of secret, and you know. You know that there is, okay? You might even know exactly what it is. I think, um, I think you probably have a choice between two people, and um, <laughs> yeah, I do. I think you do. I think you have a choice between two people, and it's either a water sign or a fire sign. And they're both. And you are beautiful, Gemini, man or woman, inside and out. It is. It shows. It shows that you are a master of your emotions. Just, your beauty is absolutely vibrating, uh, very, very high. 
I see that you are glowing, um, just going with the flow. It, I mean, it looks really, really good. Um, I think that you're very attractive, and I think that you are attracting many. Put it that way, okay? Um, but I think one, I think your 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 intuition is telling you to go in one way a little bit more than another okay i think that maybe one of them is deceiving you so and, that, and it could be the fire sign could be okay it looks it looks to me like the water sign or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart okay is the one that um has more pure intentions okay it does i think the the victory and the success and the um Happiness probably comes more from the water sign or anybody that has more water in their chart. Okay, you might um, receive some kind of communication regarding some, some cheating or lies or something going on, which you kind of already know about, okay? You do, and I think it could be with the water sign. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is something um, new on a physical level, okay? Maybe you'll receive... This new partner, this is the water sign. This could be a new partner. It could happen very quickly, okay? It could, because this is a quick moving energy. This is, um, this is also the rods of love. And this is the Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And this is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And this is the fire sign. That's thin ice, okay? And that's lies and deceit. And But this is a new partner, which is still connected to this guy. So, I mean, you're going to have to really whichever one it resonates with I mean seriously you're gonna have to follow your intuition that's where the, the answers lead because your intuition is telling you you have uh, you don't doubt it okay when you when you have to make a choice you know about which way to go really listen to if you have any you know little quirks about one person that's the one you don't go with you know what I mean because I think that you, that's what the problem is. I mean, you really have to follow your intuition here. But I'm going to get the next deck and see what comes up. I see that um, there's a, a, a period of time where you just need to take a time out. Okay? You do. Because of these two people. Okay, here's your independence. Okay, this is your independence. Being grateful and all that you have. Taking care of yourself quite well. I know this could be a man or a woman. It is. But taking, living in life's little luxuries, I mean, looking so attractive with both of these cards. Very attractive at this time. And then you have choice number one, fire sign. Very um, fiery energy, passionate, lusty. Um, he's a natural born leader, an entrepreneur. He um, engages others to get things done. He's very action oriented. He, he moves pretty quickly about things, you know. Um... And then we have you. This is you in this reading, okay? Um, who is very beautiful inside. This could be a man or a woman, too. This is your energy feeling, like, renewed, okay? Beautiful soul, just vibrating very high, very attractive. Option number two, okay? So option number one, option number two. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like I said, or a lot of water in their chart or a lot of fire in their chart down here, Okay? This guy is very mature. He can be a businessman as well, but a lot more calmer, quieter, um, keeps his emotions in check, not as um, action-oriented as this guy, but very um, sensual and charming. Um, this guy is more light-haired than this guy. So it's a man or a woman, okay? So you have choice number one and choice number two. And this is when you, where you go within to just be like, okay... I really need to decide what I want. This is fear of the unknown. And it's caution. Beware. Something isn't as it seems. And you are aware. Okay? You are. That's your awareness. There, there's some kind of secret going on. Somebody could be lying. Alright? Somebody could already be in a commitment with somebody. And they... And there's no chance, I mean, that you're ever going to get any further than that. Let me 
pieces fell out, so we're going to go with it. I do. This is another one. Okay. I'm going to get them out before I start my rambling. Four of Swords again. Now you have it twice. There is definitely a need to go within. Okay, the Four of Swords is definitely a, definitely a time of recuperation where you need to take some time. I mean, you may be sick or you may feel ill or stressed out or feel like this is too much. I really need some time to refocus on me. That means I need to go lay in my bed and just, you know, heal for a minute, meditate, do what I need to do to, to, to think. I need time to think, okay? Ace of Cups, this is a new welling of love, okay? It's an opportunity handed to you from above that says, okay, we're going to give you some love. What we're <laughs> This is exactly what it is. We're going to give you some love. What are you going to do with it? So that's what it is. I mean, now you got to choose. That's the, that's the problem. This is the five of coins again. Something, somebody's on thin ice. Somebody's, something is very insecure, okay? Will lead to insecurity. The two of wands, this is about your choice, okay? The two of wands, that is about your choice. It's a, it's a partnership. There's a fork in the road. Who are you going to choose? You absolutely have a choice, I think, between two people. So I think this could be for singles or for couples, or it may not resonate for all. It may not. It doesn't have to be partners either. It can be a child and a husband or a child and whoever. You know, it can. that's just an example. It can be you have to choose between your partner and... Um, another partner you know it could be between your partner and your mother you know because they don't get along you know it can be in so many different ways there's definitely a choice okay queen of coins that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn take the practical approach practical responsible um, grounded she's the earth mother and she's the earth mother as well so to remain grounded this week, you know, definitely take the practical approach. Use, see, which, see the star is on her third eye? Okay, you really need to go within it. It's right next to this four of swords. You really need to go within and take some time alone before you make your decision. Seriously, that's a big, big thing for this week is that you, it's in between both of these four of swords. Is This is really telling me that you need time alone to think. Okay, justice. This is about doing the right thing for you. And this is something, the justice comes out when something is weighing you down. When something is too heavy. It's just time to make a decision. It's just time to do the right thing. It's also um, a karma card. Okay? Somebody's on thin ice, that's all I know. I'm going to get some romance angel cards. Retreat. Son of a bitch. I think we were just talking about that, weren't we? You definitely need it. It's time to disconnect from the world. I already, I knew it. I see it. I saw it. It's true. It's time. Alright. It is. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And there is some romance here. There is. Your feelings regarding whoever you think is is cheating you or lying to you those are real too okay your feelings are real and worth exploring chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here there is and it, it, you you know there is with somebody there's a strong magnetic attraction that's the one you need to go with let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others I see the need for a retreat 
if you need to ask somebody to watch the kids or just to let put a do not disturb sign on your door you know whatever you got to do if you need some help for a minute so that you can go away for a day don't be afraid to ask unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going that's the truth like I said there is a choice between two people it doesn't have to be a lover it can be somebody in your family it can be a friend whatever somebody has to go heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other that's that's how you get to the bottom of it with whatever's bugging you with these two people have a heart to heart conversation with each of them and go from there So what you probably do first is have the conversation. First, you ask your friends to help you so that you can actually go within. Okay? Then you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Then you go within to figure out after you had the conversations, you know. Okay. Now, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Me, you, and, you know, myself. Me, myself, and I, we're going to have a conversation about this and figure this shit out. What are we going to do here? I've heard both sides. Now I need to make a decision. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm going to get you one of these whispers of love. I forgot it for one of the signs. Oh my god, son of a bitch. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Ask for help. Mm -hmm. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. There is a multitude of support for you. You only need to be willing to ask for the help and you will receive it. Let go of fear and pride. Did you hear that? Let go of fear and pride as they are not benefiting you and giving you what you desire. <laughs> Let go of fear and pride as they are not benefiting you and giving you what you desire. That is a big one. That well, card was absolutely perfect. It really was. So Gemini, that's what I have for this week. I will talk to you later.